until you have a weird one. Hi everybody, it's Marissa. I know it's been a long time. A lot of things have going on, have been going on. God, I can't talk today. Um, me and my boyfriend moved and we are now living in an entirely different city. We have a whole new apartment. Obviously there's nothing back here yet. I hope to fill it up with some of my own artwork and stuff like that. Um, our cat has gotten a lot bigger. There's that. And for those of you that have been wanting to know, come in here. This is my boyfriend. This is Stefan. You can talk. It's okay. So the two of us are going to be tasting some stuff for you guys today that we just found at our local dollar store that we thought might be interesting. I'm going to bring this whole thing up here now. And one that we can actually say thank you to my grandmother for because it was completely random. Yep, there's that too. So the first thing we're going to try is this. Oh, it's backwards. This is an almond roca made by the Brown and ha Haley Company, and they've been around for a hundred years. Hmm. And it's supposed to be like a little truffle toffee thing, I think. So we'll break into it. I'll scoot over here a little bit more so you can get into the frame a little bit. Okay. All right, so there's one for you. One for me. So I'm not really a big almond person, but you know, for the sake of science, I'm willing to try. Oh, cool! It's double wrapped. That's always nice. So there's what it looks like. It's kind of a rounded half rectangle. It looks like it's covered in crushed almonds and chocolate. Ready? Think. Mm. Wow. It's very sweet. It is. It is very, very sweet. So, it's a butter crunch toffee with almonds. There's a cross section for you. There's little bits of almond running all through it, and like I said, it's a toffee. Um, yeah. Not bad. If you like almonds, obviously you'll eat the whole thing. Me, I'm not a big almond fan, so, you know, after we're done recording, I'll probably give the rest to him. <laughs> it melts very fast, too, apparently. So the next thing we're going to try is from the Barton's Company, and this is their peanut clusters. Peanut caramel crisp clusters, pardon me. So there's peanuts, caramel, crispy rice, and it's all covered in milk chocolate. And for most of you, you guys know I'm a dark chocolate fan. If the box would like to open, we'll try it. See, this is what you need a man for. Let the man do it. Right. Yeah, as I was saying, I'm mostly a dark chocolate fan. It's healthier, Ooh. healthier for you. Not quite as sweet. Comes in a nice little tray of five. Is there anything else in there? No. Just a box? Just a peanut. <laughs> Just a box with some peanuts in it. So I'm gonna get this one. That was my phone, if you heard that. So this is what it looks like. It's rounded and you can see all the peanuts and stuff and there is a ton of chocolate on it. Are you going to get one to try? Uh, well, why not? Ah, come on. Do it for the sake of the video. Uh-huh. You, you know I don't care much for I know. You don't like peanut clusters. You're weird. Chocolate. Mm. That's not like, bad, though. That's really good. There's a cross section for you guys. Mm. I didn't quite get all the way to the rice. There's not a lot in that. Yeah. But the caramel is really nice. It's not one of the really oozy ones where you know you can feel it stick into the bottom your bottom lip and stuff. Oh, wow. that's pretty oozy. <laughs> well, yeah, if you're slowly pulling it apart. Sorry, I'm destructive. You'll learn that. <laughs> it does stick to your teeth that it is really really sweet, but the peanuts, the crispy rice, it's all a really nice combination. I like it. Take one more bite of that. Mongo over here eats the whole thing. 
Yeah, don't waste anything. <laughs> I'm not going to waste it. I'll eat it later. Mm -hmm. We can give it to our roommate. So the next thing we have are these. And these are called minis. There's five different types of sandwich cookies. Strawberry, vanilla, uh, oh, sorry, strawberry, or vanilla, strawberry, chocolate, vanilla, 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 chocolate, banana, and looks like vanilla orange. Thank you for that. <laughs> I'm trying to rip the box and get me Well, yeah, because this is my video and I do what I want. Oh. So, why don't we take out the different kinds and look at it like that? So, there's orange cream, which he will definitely be getting the orange cream ones. You know, tell me twice. There's, looks like chocolate banana cream. So for you banana lovers, this would be a good one. Should I pull him in here for this video too? Do you want to? We'll see if he's willing. Okay, go see if he's willing. So we're going to say goodbye to Stefan for a moment. And he's going to go see if our roommate wants to join in. Continuing. These are the vanilla cream ones with the chocolate cookie. So kind of like, you know, generic Oreo maybe. Then we have a vanilla, a vanilla cream with vanilla cookies. It is loud in here because it's really windy right now. And then we have a strawberry cream with strawberry cook or vanilla cookies. Sorry, I can't read. So five different types of cookies, and it comes with ten to the package. So you get two of each kind. And. Well, that was a resounding no. He's very, very interested in his game at the moment. And there's six cookies in each package. There's six in this thing? Yep, there's six in each. So they're prop they're relatively small. Sorry if you can hear the squeaking and the kind of howling. Like I said, it's really, really windy right now. We have a metal air conditioner box where the air, con the air conditioner is supposed to sit during warm weather. Unfortunately, it's got cardboard in it because our landlord's kind of cheap. No, it's not that our landlord's cheap. It's just they took the air conditioner out and we haven't put it back in. No, fair enough. What is that? Oh. This is the vanilla one with just the vanilla cookie. You've got the strawberry cream with vanilla. There's the vanilla with chocolate and the banana. Okay. So where do you want to go first? Should we do the fruity ones first? Yeah, let's get them out. Because I assume this one tastes like a generic Oreo and this one's just going to be all kinds of vanilla. So there's not really a big need to try Never making us something. I will assume, thank you. <laughs> we'll go with the fruity ones first, and then we'll go from there. Oh, I'm gonna start with those. Okay. So, so you're, you're Miss Descriptive, and I'm very... Oh, okay, so these are really, really cute. They've got a cute little diamond pattern on them, Ooh. and they're relatively small. Um, let's say, yeah, and the palm of your hand is really small, I'm guessing, and Oreo would be maybe another about a size and a half compared to this. And they smell like artificial banana. You can smell the banana on these. Let's see if they can pass the twist test. Mm. Nope. Twist test, not so much. Not much by way of filling in either. Yeah, there is. It is a really small cookie. But let's go for taste. It's all cookie. All cookie. Mm. Yeah, you don't really get a whole lot of banana yeah. with these ones. And the cookie doesn't really taste like chocolate either. It's just... Cookie. Okay. Yeah, it's just a cookie. You get a slight banana flavor there at the end, but it's not, it's not a big banana flavor. Not terrible. Not terrible, but not the best. All right. I know you despise these, but we're doing these. I know. Things. I'm one of the weird people in America that I don't like orange cream together. I don't know why. Sue me. <laughs> she bashes on me for eating orange galaxy bars. Ah. You can have your orange galaxy bars. I'll keep my fruit yogurt bars. Oh, wow. These things just kind of explode over the package. Oh, well then. Nice, bright orange filling. Ooh. Definitely smells like orange cream. It's got the same diamond pattern. I think all of them are going to. Mm. Somebody likes to munch right away. Like we were saying, not my favorite, but I, for the sake of science, I will give it a try. They really have that orange taste. 
This one has a little bit more filling than the banana ones, I think. Can you grab one of the banana ones? Like the one I bit. I'm gonna compare it. Oh yeah. Yeah, the orange ones have a little bit more filling. I mean, come on, they exploded all over the inside of the package. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, right there. Okay. And honestly, it's not that bad, you know? I, it's, it's pretty decent. I like it. And it did pretty okay for the twist test. It just left a slight residue on this one. I apologize for the crinkling. Um, he, he's way too fast. You know, he doesn't understand the whole talk part of the process. Uh, on the other hand, if you get me a gaming video, that's different. I will talk all day. Uh-huh. Well, maybe I should resurrect my gaming video playlist. No, I mean, we could start doing the ones I was going to put up. Mm -hmm. So, it's a vanilla cookie and artificial strawberry smell coming off of it. Not, again, not much by way of cream on that. Huh? Perfect twist off, though. I don't know if you guys can really see that. It came off perfectly for me. And he broke his cookie. <laughs> yeah, this one, uh, the cream's a little off-centered, and there's not, not a whole lot of it, but... That's one pouty child after that. There you go. Okay. But, you know, we're here for the tasting, so let's see how it tastes. Good if you only have the one cookie. You know what this reminds me of? Those, like, um... Is that a wafer? No, the little strawberry like wafer crispy cookies, you know? Yeah. They used to get. No, those ones. Okay. That's what that. Well, you say vanilla wafers, and I think of the little circular cookies. Right. No. Um. All right. For the sake of science and never assuming, we will try the vanilla vanilla and the chocolate vanilla. So, if you want to open the vanilla ones, I'll open the chocolate. So this one, you can't see any of the cream at all in the entirety of the cookie and there's barely any in the center that is a very creamless cookie so not exactly inspiring yeah, that one's about the same the lightning's kind of terrible in here so yeah hard to see but here, you gotta twist it this way dear there you go yeah yeah it's not really overwhelming with the amount of cream coming on these guys but How's the vanilla one? Vanilla? Not really have a taste. So why don't you come into the frame a little bit so you're not cut off? It's definitely like a vanilla Oreo. The, the dollar brand. Oh, gotcha. I shouldn't actually say brand names on here, but... Mm -hmm. And this one? It's definitely the typical chocolate cookie flavor. But now these are kind of a weird one. These are the ones that we got from his grandma. Now everybody's heard of the birthday cake Oreos and whatnot. They basically smell like vanilla and have sprinkles in the cream and whatnot. So his grandma brought us some stuff today and she brought us these. They're birthday cake creamy wheels. By the best choice brand. And they've already been opened because somebody likes his cookies. But I've never seen birthday cake cookies, so I had to give them a try earlier, and then she suggested the video. So, But this is an incredible amount of icing right here. I mean, that's bigger than a regular Oreo, and that's m maybe slightly bigger than the double stuffed Oreos. We're talking like mega stuffed Oreos right now. Personally, I like these. And it's got the nice cute little flower pattern on it, and the... They twist off rather nice. Yeah, they twist off pretty nice. Sometimes you got to wiggle them a little bit, but you can see the sprinkles and things in on that one. And it smells... Amazing. Like vanilla frosting. It smells like you just opened up one of those jars of frosting and you put it on a cookie. And cream comes out everywhere. <laughs> the cookie itself is a little soft for my taste. I like a little bit more of a crunchy cookie. Now, given her particular taste, this might be a little bit of an odd one, the next one. Especially considering it's all been sweets to this point. Mm -hmm. I'm not I had to take another bite. I'm not a sweets person. So, she said she would do a salty snack of, well, 
I want to try and get more savory stuff on here because it, I eat a lot of sweets already as it is. Ooh, I'm gonna get those ones. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> these are new. Nicole. So, for those of you that have heard of the Packies brand, this is their original one. This is not sponsored, by the way. I've got a bag of those in the fridge. I think if you want a bigger picture. In the cabinet. Uh, these are their original ones. They have, they're the chili lime flavored. And this is their newest one called Explosion. It is cheese, cheese and, and chili pepper flavored, right? Mm-hmm. And they're still the same rolled up Takis that everybody knows and loves. And they're by the Barcel Company. I think that's how you pronounce that, Barcel. Yeah, Barcel. And, yeah, we got these at our local dollar store, too, so. Now, we were watching a movie earlier, and I've already killed a bag of these. Yeah, he bought a couple of bags, and he's already eaten an entire bag. So this is purely for me. I'm not the biggest into spicy food, but I have my moments where I really, really like it. And so... We're gonna give this a go. It is covered in cheese powder. It looks like a rolled up Dorito, basically. And you can almost see through it. For science. I have to say, not bad. It's a little bit <coughs> kick you in your face hot it doesn't have that nice slow heat to original takis but although it does build as you eat more of them as i learned yeah i'm pretty sure if you kill through an entire bag it'll get plenty hot but that is all we have for this video we have one more thing that i would like to show you guys i believe in one of my previous videos i showed you our cat and her name was precious at the time but we changed her name to puff and she was just a little tiny thing so i would like to show you guys her now here she is she has gotten so big and she's still a spoiled little princess and she is crazy <laughs> but she knows she's not supposed to be on the table so that's the great part i don't know where he ran off to but that's all we have for you guys today. Hold on. He's telling me hold on, so apparently it's not. You suggested it earlier. Oh, that's right. So, it was a tradition for me when I was in culinary school to do a shot of lemon juice. Just straight up lemon juice. And the other day at work, I got one of my co-workers to do a shot of lime juice with me. So, my boyfriend and I are going to do a shot of lemon juice. This is lemon juice right here. Hasn't been opened yet. We're opening it for you guys right now. And we are going to do a good sized shot of lemon juice. Just for kicks and grins because we can and to make the video a little more interesting. As I said, Tasting is all done. That's all we have for you guys today. And I cannot wait to post more videos, hopefully featuring my wonderful boyfriend, Stefan. Considering I'm going to be at home a lot more properly. In the near future. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any comments, questions, would like to see me taste something, have any suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. Have a great one. Salute. Bye.